play us a tune on the old Makita. It's episode 18. Electrical first fix for hempcrete. Hey. Come here. Come here. I've just finished the first fix of the wiring. Let me tell you what that involves. First of all, for reasons not entirely related to the extension, I had to move the consumer unit. So I put it up here, and then I ran a new socket ring and new lighting circuits down this wall and out under the floor to the new extension. And once I got here, I fitted two junction boxes, one for the socket circuit and one for the lighting circuit. And then from here, continued the conduit around the structure of the extension. Now, because hempcrete is weird, the first fix of the electrics goes in before the wall exists as such. The socket boxes are set off the frame like this so that when it comes to placing the hempcrete, the shutter goes up against the front face of the box like that, and then you can fill in the hempcrete behind it. Everything horizontal is kept to a minimum because it's difficult to tuck the hempcrete in underneath it when it's being filled from above like this and you don't want to leave any gaps. And all the cabling is in conduit to protect it from the line. I have to have the first fix inspected and then the second fix tested and signed off when the building's finished. Um, I've kept it pretty simple. There's one socket ring, one indoor light and one outdoor light, but I want to make it configurable to a certain extent so I can add other things later on without too much trouble. So I've put in some extra roots that aren't filled yet that should cover all the bases. Conduit is cheap so I figure if you think you might need something might as well put it in now as regret it later. There's a route here leaving the building high up under the eaves in case I need outdoor lighting further down the yard. There's a route here in case I need any more outdoor sockets. There's a route along this wall in case I want any wall lighting that leaves under the eaves at the front of the building in case I decide I want an extra outdoor light there. And there's a route along the top in case I want a ceiling light in a different position. I'm not sure what's going in some of these routes so rather than putting the cables in now I've left them empty. I've been using this galvanised wire for pulling the electrical flex through the conduit. I found that if you leave nice smooth curves at the corners when you're threading the conduit around the frame then the galvanised wire can be pushed along the whole route. And then back down at my junction box, I've got it set up like a little manifold with all the conduit leaving the underside of the box, which makes it easy to thread the galvanised wire in any time I want to pull a new cable through. So I just fix the empty runs in place, check the galvanised pulling wire goes all the way down the route, and then I know it's ready to be encased in hempcrete. And that's really all there is to it. First fix wiring is done. Well, the guy's just been to inspect the wiring. He had a look at here, checked we've got an earth, checked I haven't been installing sockets on the lighting circuit or anything like that, and uh, then said call me when it's ready for the second fix. So I've passed the inspection. Hardly seems worth the lots and lots of money really. Did you know that you can like, subscribe, or donate? <laughs>